Hello, everyone. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong place because I'm on the computer instead of my phone, so I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen, and looking at the screen makes me look in the wrong place. So I would be the same way. Hi, everybody. I'm looking at the screen, uh -oh. and looking at the screen makes me look in the wrong place. Hold on, I got to mute. Okay. <laughs> I would be the same way. Hi, everybody. Hold on, I gotta mute. Okay. Hey, Judy. Hi, Helen. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Thomas. Book. Hey, Hi, Helen. Hi, Trisha. Hi, Thomas. Book. Green is beautiful on Ali dolls. Hey, Hi, Tammy and Linda. I'm assuming Linda's here. Hi, Tammy. Thomas. I'm assuming Linda's here. It's weird hearing myself echo. Hi, Tammy. Thomas. I'm assuming Linda's here. It's weird hearing I hope everyone is doing well. I'm scared to talk. <laughs> I'm scared to talk. I'm scared to talk. I'm so sorry, everybody. We're just having technical issues. Yes, Helen. Gina has some large abilities. We're just having technical issues. Yes, Helen. Gina has some large abilities. We're just having technical issues. Okay, what I'm going to do is you're going to hear this again. I'm sorry. I'm going to leave the studio and I'm going to pull it up on something else, but you can go ahead and sell. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, guys. Poor Gina. So I want to let y'all know Dexter's really sick. We spent the morning at the bed, so he will not be making an appearance. And I hope you guys will send some good vibes his way. It's been a long day. Um, they're running tests. They don't know what's going on, really. They're treating his symptoms, which are vomiting, lethargy, and not eating. So they put him on fluids, and they've given him two medicines. Um, but he's been laying in the same spot for four hours, so I'm, I'm very sad. But I'm happy to be here with you guys. Thank you, Jody and Annette. If he gets up, I'll I'll definitely bring him in here for an appearance. Hi, Jeannie. Oh, thank you, Thomas. He loves you guys too. He uh he's really sick though. I have to monitor him for well until he starts eating and he's getting around better. Okay, guys, what should I show first? I'll show some, something cute. So welcome to our Christmas in July. I wish Gina was here. The first item I have is this little sheep. And this is just a figurine. Um, there's nothing on the bottom. It does have a cute little ribbon bow and holly in its hair. I think this is probably, it's not bisque. This is glazed. I, it's probably, it could be made in China. I, I don't know. I just got it because it was adorable. And this little guy, well, he's about that big. Thanks, you guys, for everything you're saying about Dexter. You're going to make me cry. The lamb is going to be $4, number 
it's definitely weird not having him in here with me. Okay. Then the next thing I have, I have a home co piece. And this is a mouse with a snowman. Look at that face. This mouse has really big ears. He's super cute. He's just very happy to be looking at that snowman, I think. Um, here's the mark. Oops, I'm showing it to you upside down. There we go. These are in great shape. There's no damage on the mouse or the snowman. This is a bigger figurine, about that big. And he is $8, number 71, for the mouse and the snowman. Oh, Belinda, thank you for picking up the lamb. Hi, Chad. Hi, Sally. Jean is having technical difficulties, so she'll be right back. She was trying to stream on her Mac. And I think that's why she's having issues. Okay. The next item I have. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, guys. So I have a few of these. These are also home co. And this is a puppy in a boot. And he's just adorable. As you can see, there's like a little bit of holly on the boot. It's all about the face. He's so cute. And this little guy is also Hunko, and he's marked right there. And he is small. He's one of the smaller ones, so about that big. And he is $4, number 69 for the puppy. Thank you, book. Gotcha, Belinda. Thank you. It's so weird being by myself. I mean, I know I'm not by myself because you guys are with me, but he does have side eye chat. I have a few more of these. I'll go ahead and show them right now, actually. Those were the sink. That was the only single one I have, but I have some pairs. I have two mice, and they're they're giving side eye too. <laughs> these are more of a bisque. I forgot to say that with the other one. And they're, they're in really good shape, too. Here's the back. They're adorable. They're good shelf sitters. Not shitters, but sitters. So I picked up a bunch of these Home Co. figurines a couple weeks ago, y'all. And they're so cute. And this one is going to be $8 for the pair. Oh my goodness, Julia. How are you feeling, honey? I'm surprised to see you in chat. I've been praying for you, Julia. Thank you, Belinda. Okay. Whoops. That mouse almost tumbled off the desk. There she is. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> it was without you, Gina. I figured out my technical difficulties, I hope. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> it was a mess. <laughs> Guys, exactly. I'm on a new computer, and I'm having to figure it out. I don't do Macs <laughs> at all. And I'm having to figure out how to work these, because I usually do PC. And so this is like a whole new venture for me. <laughs> So just be patient. I'm old. I can't do computers. You're not old. 
I know, Thomas, the doll probably did do it. I don't know. <laughs> so how many things did you get through? Three. Oh, that's all? Oh, okay, cool. Why don't you go ahead and do one more and then uh, I'll do a few. Okay. If I can get my mouse to now work. <laughs> Give up on this computer. Poor <laughs> Gina. Okay, Julia, for some reason, I think, I thought your surgery was today, so I'm sorry. No, I didn't, Jody. Thank you. I'm scrolling up. Oh, thank you, Chad. I see that now. I'm so sorry. Okay. So the next thing I was going to show you guys are these two angels. They are super cute. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's okay. <laughs> These angels are amazing. The only issue is some of the, the paint has worn off on their eyes. But other than that, they're like mid-century greatness. Here's the back. Um, they're pink and then they, they kind of have like blonde hair and like a kind of a goldish halo. It, it might be kind of hard to see it. Um, they're about that big. I just thought they were super cute and I was surprised that they were in such good shape considering how old they are. And these two angels are going to be $6, number 52. I'm falling apart now too. I'm dropping papers. Don't do that. <laughs> Okay, Gina, do you want me to do more? Or are you good? Yeah, do like, uh, go ahead and do, what are you at, four? Do two more and we'll do six. Okay. Oh, Chad, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. I'm <laughs> just, I'm in another world today, guys. I, I apologize. I was up with you. You are? <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like I'm just it's totally zoned out. Okay. So my next item is this really pretty angel. I think you can see that it's an angel. Um, it's like a, a dish, a trinket dish or a candy dish, whatever you want it to be. It is marked here on the on the middle of it. It says that it is crystal and it, but it's made in Taiwan. What I like the most about it is, you know, it's etched in here, but then you have the frosted glass around it. And that's kind of why I picked it up. I thought it was just really pretty and, and unique. And she's playing her trumpet. She's very happy in her flowing gown. And this dish is going to be $10, number 59. <laughs> Jody said you need a beer and a massage, Gina. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay and the next thing I will show you guys is this this is a vintage mouse I looked him up earlier and now I can't remember I want to say he might be Inesco or Jasco he's definitely Japan or she she's kind of a pinkish color I'm not sure if it's coming through that way but she's also giving some serious side eye there She's just a little happy mouse with her holly and her, her candy cane. Um, she does still have the hook. There is a marking and like a model number here. I'm sorry, guys. I, can't, I know it, it's Japan. I just can't remember who it is. But look at that face. And she is $4, number 67. I forgot to say, but she is ceramic. Oh, thank you, Linda. I did. I, I kind of did dress up. 
you know how you feel better when you know if you get all dressed up okay gina and thank you thomas well then i need to go get dressed up because i'm not feeling <laughs> so great right now <laughs> okay maybe my world is not falling apart let's try this shall we <laughs> 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 Whew, okay. Okay. For my first item, I have this uh, stained glass piece and it's a little candle. Cute. It's about this big. And it is going to be Three dollars, number twelve. Next, whew, burning up, guys. My air conditioner's not working in this room. I told Kat that a little while ago. Thank you, Belinda. Let me put you down for that. My AC is just not doing it for me today. Okay, and then next I have two of these little Santa face mugs. They are missing some of their cold paint on their faces and on their handles. I'll show you. I've got this one. See where he's missing his paint. He's about this big. Nothing on the back. And then I've got like his brother here. <laughs> And they are blue eyed. Again, about this big. And I'm going to sell them separately in case more than one person wants them. Um, each, they're going to be $6, number 14. So whoever types in first, they have a chance to get uh, both if they want it. Yeah, look at this. He's a. Uh, Oh, he's backwards. Sorry. <laughs> this one's actually in better condition than this one for some reason. I don't know why. Belinda, do you want well, just one or both, honey? I'll put those aside and you can let me know. Okay. And then I have, I think this guy's cute. He's not old, but I just think he's precious. So he's a Christmas owl. Aw, he's got his little burlap hat on. And he's some kind of like resiny kind of stuff, I guess, but he's hollow. So he's not real heavy, but he's about this big. And he is going to be just one. Okay. I'll send you the one that the paint's better on. Okay. He's going to be $4 number nine for the little Christmas owl. Thomas got you for that. Thank you. And then... This is one of those, you know, people do the yarn on the plastic. Um, I forgot what you call this stuff. The plastic sheet, you know what I'm talking about. But this is like a homemade Christmas tree. And they put like those beads in there for the decorations. I think they did a pretty good job. And it's got like a little hanger. And it's even got one of the little wire hooks on it for you already. <laughs> But it's about this big. And it is going to be $4, number four. And then I have one of the vintage um, tree toppers with the tinsel and the lights on it. And it's the multicolored lights. It's not the white, it's the multicolored. 
Uh, I've got Thomas for number four first, I think. Thank you, Thomas. And it's about this big. And it's going to be $8, number 16. And then I think I have one more. And we'll go back to Cat. 16, Belinda. Thank you, honey. Let me put you down before I forget, because you know how forgetful I am. Okay, and then next I have these cute... I only have two, but they're the stackable Christmas glasses. If I could hold it correctly, that would help. And it's got like packages and pine cones and a candle and your holly and all that good stuff on there. But I have two of them. I don't know who makes them, but they are stackable. About this big. So you can double fist it at your Christmas party. <laughs> Gina, <did you> do <laughs> oh, no. oh wait trisha was first where's trisha first oh trisha is first okay trisha, trisha. you were first trisha i'm sorry i didn't even see you thank you belinda for yelling at me and telling me but if you want to double fist your eggnog <laughs> It'll be six dollars, number fifteen for these. And these are good eggnog glasses. See, because you can hold it down here, so when you get a little too much eggnog, you don't drop them as easily. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to cat. Okay, guys, my next item is another cute ceramic. This one is a little bell, and it's a kitty. He's he's an ornament bell. I mean, he could be a shelf shitter too, if you wanted to use him for that. He is not marked anywhere, but he has a good little little ring. Super cute. This is fabric right here, and he's bisque. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Ah, then I put his little card. Here's his card. He is six dollars, number twenty-four. I haven't been in sales the past day or two. I don't know if lag has gotten better or worse. <laughs> I'm just asking in general. Okay. Then the next item I have is another ornament. And this is like a little stained glass ornament of Santa. Well, goodness, I don't think you can see that at all. Let me try to get that up there. There we go. I was covering his head. No wonder it didn't look right to me. <laughs> And as you can see, it's kind of in the shape of a Christmas tree. And then it's painted right in here. I don't know if it's like a, a homemade thing or not. But I thought it was cute. And this is $3, number 76. Well, hi, Carrie. <laughs> you know you can be loud with us. Barbara, hi. Are you feeling better, Carrie? Thank you, Thomas. I see you for this one. Gina, would you like me to keep going? Are you good? How many did you do? I did two. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and do at least four. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was going. Yeah, to I just think it'll move quicker if we can stay going back and forth. Yeah. You know? That's fine by me. The next thing I have is this little golden book, Jody, the boy with the drum. I think Jody actually did make one of these into a journal recently. Um, this printing is from 1978. And I pulled it for the sale because of the little drummer boy. Um, it does really cute pictures in it. 
There's a cute frog. And a kitty. There he is marching with all the animals on the farm. Super cute book. I know it's not quite a Christmas story, but it kind of is at the same time. He does have the little tin soldiers here on his drum. And this book is going to be $3, number 60. I didn't show you, but it's, it's in really good shape. I thought so, Jody. I remember seeing it. I still haven't done my deep dive into Jody's videos, but it's going to happen. Maybe tomorrow. It's good to see you too, Barbara. Okay. The next thing I have is also a book. This book is pretty cool. This book is Christmas in Mexico. And it's published in 1978. It has a bunch of really amazing pictures of how Christmas is celebrated in Mexico. And it tells you gives you a map and shows you all the different locations that they talk about in the book. There's a glossary. Just a bunch of really nice pictures of art in here. I personally love Mexican culture, so I thought this book was really cool. I wish I spoke Spanish, but I don't. Whoops. I think a recipe just flew out. An added bonus. What is this? Oh, it is, guys. So this is Mexican Christmas food. Um, how cool is this? Dry soup for Christmas, stuffed turkey, codfish for Christmas, Christmas Eve salad. And that's pretty cool. I guess someone just put it in the book randomly. I love it when things like that happen. I do that with a lot of my books too. I put things in them and get surprised. Um, I'm trying to remember how many pages this is. It's about a hundred pages. Um, it's really cool back here because it does have more recipes. And the graphics are really cool. It tells you how to make ornaments if you're crafty. I was just telling Gina, I am not crafty at all. But anyway, this is just a really cool, really nice, kind of a different book. And it is $15, number 83. And you get the extra bonus recipes. <laughs> What? Oh my gosh, Jody! I have to see that. I love Frida. Oh, cool, Jody! I'll have to go back and watch. Okay, Gina, I think I've done four. Okay. Whew. Again, I'm burning up. All righty. I'm gonna start it off with. <laughs> A handmade kind of homemade kind of thing but I think it's really cute and it's these little felt long underwear and on the back you know the trap door area is where you put like the gift or whatever and on the tag it says we were looking for a stocking but couldn't find a spare so we ended up stuffing Santa's red underwear have a Merry Christmas and then you can write their name and the date and everything on it but I just thought that was really cute it's like you know something different that I haven't seen before. And it is going to be $2, number 17. And then I have a, um, a ceramic um, I, musical. I hate calling it a music box because it's not a music box. Thomas, I got you for the underwear. 
I'm not even going to comment. <laughs> Thomas got the red underwear. <laughs> um, Thomas, where's Sue? Yeah, where is Sue? Hi, Angela. Angela with her new logo. I love it. So I've got this musical. It's, I guess you can call it a music. Well, you can call it whatever you want to. But it is this uh, <clears throat> ceramic. And it's like an old world Santa. And he's holding this little girl. You know how little kids like to always stick their hands up on your mouths? She doesn't know about COVID apparently. But anyway, it's this cute little music box. <laughs> a, a delayed laugh. <laughs> Maybe she's been vaccinated. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it plays Santa Claus is coming to town. I may not play unless I had it sitting down. Or if I had not lined it enough, apparently. There it goes. And it spins around. Okay, that's enough of you, Santa. Uh, so it's going to be $10 number 23 for the little old world looking Santa. And then next, what did I have next? Oh, I've got this House of Lloyd. Um, a couple of them actually. And they're in their boxes, but they're these House of Lloyd, um, like Christmas bunnies. And this one is Granny Flo. I'll take her out so you can see her. <laughs> Trisha. <laughs> I know, I'm horrible, Trisha. Well, sometimes Santa just is too much. You know, sometimes you have to just tell him to calm down. But here's Flo, Granny Flo, and she's a shelf sitter, and she's got her little, she's got these little rope arms, I guess. She's got her little shawl on there and her little Christmas dress, which has been in the box, so it's kind of wrinkledy, but she's about this big. Now her face is a uh, ceramic or porcelain i guess you would say so for granny flow she's going to be eight dollars number six and i'll put granny back in her box get in the box granny <laughs> <laughs> Gina, I see Thomas for that. Okay, Thomas, I got you, honey. <laughs> Get out of the way, Granny. <laughs> and then we have Flo's counterpart. We have Grandpa Lloyd to go along with Granny. And here's old grandpa. He's got his, where he's been working on making this little wooden horse, I guess, for the little grandbabies. And he's got his little hammer here. He's got a little smudge right there. But anyway, here's granny's man, I guess. Same rope arms and porcelain head. There's, that's his little tag. That's his tag hanging between his legs. <laughs> so he's also going to be $8 number seven. <laughs> no comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, I get, I'm sorry that Sue's in bed. Will you please give her our, our love? Yes, please. I'm lagging really bad, guys, so I'm sorry. That I'm that's like, right, Barbara. We've been trying really hard not to say the wrong words. <laughs> All right, Thomas, I got you for grandpa too. I'm gonna go back over here to Kat. Jody. <laughs> I was about to type to you. Okay. So this 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 is a, an interesting mouse, guys. I'm not quite sure what to think of it. 
I tested it to see if it was metal and it, it seems to think it's metal. I don't, I don't think it's silver though. And I don't think it's pewter. It doesn't feel like pewter. I guess it could be. I've never known pewter to be this shiny, but this mouse is kind of funny. Uh, he's like, he's all dressed up. You know, he's like a dapper fellow with like this long coat. Here he is from the back. He's definitely an ornament, but he doesn't have um, a hook. I think he's kind of cool. Just really different. He's kind of got a belly here. <laughs> Just really weird, goofy ornament that I like. Um, anyway, you might be getting a great deal. I don't, I don't know. I just, it's probably some sort of metal. I don't, I don't think it's still sterling, but if it is, you're getting a great deal. It's $2 number 72. Look at that nose. Hmm. Nice to you, Thomas. You'll have to check it and let me know. Okay. Now I have another one of these. Home Co's. And this is a mouse with a Christmas tree. He's like the other one with the snowman, but he's looking at a Christmas tree this time. Um, he's in really, really good shape. There's no damage on him. And it is one of the bigger ones. I love these mice. They're so cute with these gigantic ears. I mean, the ears are bigger than his head. I was so happy when I found these home codes. I think they're so cute. And he is $8, number 79. He is a funny little mouse, Barbara. I saw you say you loved him, Belinda. He is yours. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a mug. This, this is not vintage. I just thought it was really cute. It's Santa playing a flute with a bunch of streamers and a bird. Because, you know, that's what Santa does. He kind of has like this confetti going around. Um, I don't think it's ever been used. It's... Vitro Master, which I'm not sure if I've heard of that brand before, but it is microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and it's just a normal size coffee mug. It's not a jumbo one. It's not a small one. I just like the graphic of Santa. And this is $5, number 57. Hey, Nikki, I don't think I said hi to you yet. Hi, Mary. It's good to see you here. Okay. I have a bigger item to show you guys now. I have this really pretty tray. It has these two pretty birds. It has holly on it. I know, Thomas, that mug is too small for Gina. So I have two trays in the sale, and I got confused. I thought this one was mid-century. So if you watched my sale, this is not mid-century. Um, this actually does have a barcode on it. But I do have one coming out that is mid-century. I just thought this was really cute. And this is $5, number 85. I forgot to show you, but it's about that big. It is Jody. I have no idea if I showed three or four, Gina. I think I showed four. I know I did, actually. Okay. Let's see what I have. Okay, so I have, first up, I have like this Christmas tree ceramic, like a luminary. 
And it's got like these little Santas all the way around the base, all dressed differently. The star on the top. I already put light since so I'm gonna hold it like this. It's about this big. And I put some little fairy lights in there to let you see kind of what it looks like with the lights on. Not that you can really tell because I have a light on over here. So <laughs> you probably can't tell much of a difference. Here, let me turn that light off. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Hold on. Okay, so now it's a little bit darker in here. You can kind of see what it's going to look like with the lights on. I think it's really cute. About this big. It doesn't have any chips or any damage in it. And it is going to be $8, number 35 for the little Christmas tree luminary. Belinda. Okay. Thank you, Belinda. And y'all ignore the serenading in the background. That's my son singing for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Is he singing Christmas carols? I don't know what he's back there screaming about, but <laughs> it's definitely not good singing. <laughs> Which, that's the sad part. He can really do pretty well. Like he's like a crooner almost like he can do all the old music, you know, and he does pretty well at it, but then he starts just acting crazy and singing like an idiot. So <laughs> <laughs> then I have this little, I guess I could put lights in this to show you too. I didn't even think about doing that. Duh. I'm just going to shove these down in here so you can kind of see they won't be perfect because I just shoved them in there. I've got this little glass. Um, this is like a glass, uh, green glass globe shaped jar kind of thing in the center vase, whatever you want to call it. And it's got these little flocked cardinals there with the berries all the way around it. So it's an older piece. I picked this up quite a while ago because I was anticipating this sale. So I've had it sitting around for a while, but I think it's really pretty. Let me take the lights out so you can see what it looks like without the lights. There you go. And it's about this big. Be cute on a table or wherever you want to put it. And it is going to be six dollars number thirty-seven. So there's that. Oh shoot, I left my fairy lights on. Let me turn those off before I kill the battery. <laughs> okay. Then I have whew, I might have to go get a fan when it's not my turn this next time around. Dying. How hot is it there today? Gina? It's nearly 100 degrees. It is horrible. Absolutely horrible. And now there's somebody calling me because, you know, nobody knows that I do sales at this time. <laughs> <sighs> okay. So next I have this. Um, I took it out of the box so you can see it. But here's the box. And it's an Avon Winter Wonderland. Let me see what it says on here. Um, I've already assembled it, but I'll unassemble it to put it back in the box for you guys. But it's the winter wonderland for your Christmas table. Um, so it's essentially, it's got a candle in the center, an Avon fragrance candlelet. And, oh, this is where you can put a, a little cup of Christmas candies in there to replace it if when you use your candle up. But it does have the candle in it. So this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can pick it up and show you. I did assemble it. But it's this little base and it's got a candle down in there. And these little trees, little winter wonderland. And then these come out so you can store it kind of flat. The funny thing is I found the box for this with all of it in there except for this set of trees. This was missing. I walked around and around that thrift store and I finally found this by itself somewhere. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but I found it. So, <laughs> I was determined. <laughs> that never happens to me when I'm trying to find something. <laughs> I don't know how I, I don't know how I managed it, but I did find it crazy enough. And this is, you know, like I said, it's new in the box. It's an old box, but it's new in the box. And I'm gonna take this stuff out so you can see what the bottom of it says. 
There you go. Avon Winter Wonderland Bayberry Fragrance Candle. And it is going to be $7, number 11. Put that over here on the side. And then my fourth thing I have is a lot of these handmade ornaments. And I'm going to show them to you one at a time. I think there's six or seven of them here. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm dying. Barbara and Bunda. I got you for that, honey. Thank you. Okay. So the first one that's in the lot is this one. It's like a little mirror ball with a tassel. And they put these little beads on there. And then this is, you know, the silk ornaments, the silk thread ornaments. That's what this kind is. It's like that smooth silk thread looking stuff. But there's the first one. The second one is this red and green and the hangers on here and it's all crazy, but this red and green like sequin and beaded ornament. And there's actually two of those. Here's the second one. There's another one of those. And then that's three. The fourth one is this cute little I don't know what's going on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was kind of dangled. <laughs> and then there's a bell shaped one, which I think is really pretty. And then this little snowman. Now the little snowman is missing one of his little blue sequin eyes right there, but you could easily put that on because these are just put in with like stick pins. That's how these were made. Like back in the day, I guess when somebody made these, it's just stuck in there with little stick pins. So you, all you need is like one little, personally, what I would do is glue it on, <laughs> you know. So for the one, two, three, four, Five, six of those. It's going to be number thirty-two, twelve dollars. And that is my fourth item. I do believe, Cat. Okay. Okay, guys. So I got this a few months back. I had purchased um, a lot of items at an estate sale online, and these were in there. Um, they're Ikea. <laughs> I thought they were cute enough to show you guys, though. These are all, there's six of them, and they're fabric, you know, felt gnomes in here. Never been opened. <laughs> I just thought they were super cute. I thought I'd see if you guys were interested. They're not vintage, but they're kind of cute. And they're kind of like pixies, you know? No. I, I can't really show you how big. <laughs> you can see one there. Just like, you know, like a larger size ornament. And this is going to be $2, number 75. They're very light, obviously. And if it ends up being like if you got these and it caused you to have a larger box, I could always open them for you if you're interested. And then for my next item, I have this brooch. And it's a poinsettia. It says made in Hong Kong back here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But that's the only information on it. Yeah, based on the way it feels and, and looks, I do think this is vintage. It's, it's like a, a hard plastic. There is a little, a little spot right there. You could fix that easily if you wanted to just even maybe take a Sharpie and just put it in right there. I think it's cool. 
I don't know, there's just something about it, something about the style that I thought was kind of neat. To me, it looks like maybe 60s. I don't know. What do you guys think? And this brooch is going to be $5, number 81, if anybody's interested. Oh, Thomas, I see you for the gnomes. Thank you. Thank you, Belinda. I'm glad you like it. If you want me to try to touch it up, let me know. And I, can, I think I can do that. Okay. I have a bell next. And this one is just a bell. She's not an ornament. And she is Jasco. Uh, it's obviously an angel. She has a really sweet face. And lashes for miles. It's super cute. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it does have the Jasco marking in here. I want to say she's from the, the 70s. I'm pretty sure that's what I read. She's kind of blushing. I just think she's really sweet. I like her pose. And she is $9, number 65. Now I can hear the echo at my house. I guess Rick is watching us on the other, in the other room. Okay. Now I have something pretty cool. This is a Russian nesting doll, but it's a toy soldier. Or soldier, I'm sorry. A Russian soldier. He has a great mustache. And he has, I think he has four soldiers inside. Pretty sure he does. There's another one. Yep, there's four. I will show you all four. They're all the same except they don't have that little decoration on top. I wish I could hold all four up at once, but I, I don't think I can. You'd think I would have StreamYard figured out by now, guys. And the largest one is about this big. <laughs> I did get him at an estate sale, and I paid up. I got another Russian piece, um, and they told me that they were indeed from Russia. There's also one that I'm showing tonight that is not from Russia. But I thought these were cool. And it's going to be $19 for the... Soldier nesting doll set. I don't think I said before, but none of them are scratched or anything. They were well taken care of. They're making that wonderful wooden <laughs> noise when you scratch. I know. I just like, oh. Aren't they cool? Mm -hmm. Love them. Okay. I love nesting dolls. Did I do four? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly was not paying attention. I was over here doing stuff. So. I think I did three. If anybody well, go knows. ahead. <laughs> we don't, you know, we don't fly by rules. We just go our own way. We do go our own way. And I like it that way. Okay. So this is Bone China. And it's a Nesco. I think this is really pretty. It does have um, a fabric bow here. And then, um, I can't talk, guys. What are those called? <laughs> holly? Are yes, thank you. A little bit of holly here. It's in excellent shape. Also the name of my dog. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Holly. She was born at Christmas time, so she's Holly. Well, that's perfect. And this is about this big. I know a lot of people do plaid 
Christmas box. That would be cute. And this is ten dollars, number fifty-eight. Hi, Christina. Hey, Christina. Christina, I got a package from you today. I haven't opened it yet. Okay, Gina, that was four for sure. It might've been five. <laughs> That's fine. We don't care, do we? You know, okay. So, okay. I'm not trying to like knock your heads off, but you know, I'm gonna bring out the Annalie dolls. So just so you know, get ready. <laughs> so here is Santa. And these are the, what do they call them, mobility or whatever they are, mobility doll. This is from 1971. This doll is as old as I am. In much better condition. They do have the wire legs, so they can be shelf sitters. I do have Mrs. Claus as well, but I'm going to sell them separately so I don't, you know, like give you a heart attack. So here is Santa. This is like the, I believe the 13 inch or maybe it's the 16. I don't know. I can measure it if you want me to, but it's one of the bigger ones. It's not those little tiny ones. I like his face. Sometimes mm -hmm. those faces creep me out, but I like him. I like his furry hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> and the vest. Yeah, Jody, I like the vest too. I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> He's like a mad scientist. <laughs> <laughs> so he is going to be $35 number one. If you are interested. And give you a second to think about that. And I also have, uh, let me see which one this is, a little Christmas brooch. And it is a little candle, a little Christmas candle. It's got a piece of fur coming off of it. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it better with this than you can with my other camera, although it's still not focusing too great, is it? I apologize. I'm trying to make it better. It's just not working. Hi, Krista. Welcome. I'm going to try to put a... Hey, Krista. I'm going to try to put a card behind it so that you can hopefully see it and not put it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a little Christmas candle. And it is going to be $6, number 51. For a little Christmas candle. Okay. So here is the um wait, what's going on? I'm I'm lost over here. Number one. Krista got number one, right? That's what I see. Uh huh. And then I see Tammy. Um, let me, I'll make sure on my phone. And Tammy got 51. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So if you like Santa, here's his counterpart, Mrs. Claus. Again, she's the large one. And she's got on the dress that kind of it matches his, you know. The quilt looking dress. And she is going to also be $35 as she's number two. And I'll set her over here. And then for my fourth thing, I have got, I'm gonna pull up closer so hopefully I can. Okay, Tammy got 51. Okay, thank you. Krista, uh, I don't think you've registered with me. Um, I'll drop my information in the chat in just a second for the email and everything. If you can send me your information, please, honey. Okay. And then 
I gotta figure out which one this is. Okay, I've got this little Christmas wreath brooch. This got candles in the center. And you can see like their little red where the candles glowing. And I wish it would focus better because it's got these little rhinestones, red and clear rhinestones around it. Can let me put a card behind it, see if you can see it a little better. You can see them sparkling a little bit, but it's just not going to focus like I want it to. I apologize. But it's going to be $52.6 for the wreath. I didn't even check to see if these were marked or anything. <laughs> I just dug Christmas jewelry out for you guys. <laughs> so. Okay, and that is four for me. And I will go back to Kat. Okay, guys. So next up, I have an angel. And there is an issue right here. I think it's just there's some paint missing. There's some gold paint missing here. Because it's not sharp to the touch. But I, I did want to point that out. And I did price her because of that. Um, she is a Japanese figure. It's called Treasure Masters is the name of the company. I'm not familiar with that company. Hopefully I'm not blinding you. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying Krista's not good, Christina. I'm sure she's fantastic. I just know I I know I don't have her information, so I can't invoice her. So that's why I said that. Okay, and this angel, I just think she's really cute with her book. And I, I don't think I showed you the back. But other than this, this gold paint missing, she's in really good shape. And I don't know if... If she came that way or not. It kind of looks like she might have. Somebody did a, a sloppy paint job, I guess. But because of that, she's going to be $3, number 61. She has a sweet face. Okay. Next, I have something so cool, and I was so excited to show you guys this. Bear with me. I have to be really careful with this piece. This is a Lefton candy dish. It is so pretty, guys. I hope that my camera is doing it justice because it's so pretty. It is texturized in here you know, with ceramic to look like leaves and holly. The top is phenomenal. I found this a few months back, and there's no damage to it at all. I was shocked. I found this in a garage and in a state sale, just sitting there. I mean, it wasn't even dusty, so I, <laughs> I guess somebody put it in the garage for the sale. I'm not really sure, but I was very surprised to find it in there because it's so pretty. And it does have, careful here. You can see part of the sticker still here. I think it's just kind of folded over. And here's the number right there. The inside looks yeah, brand new. Look, it's just lovely. It is about that big. I would put peppermints or some other Christmas kind of candy in there. Carefully going to get the card. It's going to be $14, number 56. And Krista, I think I've seen you in Tammy sales, maybe. I definitely know who you are. So welcome, welcome. Thank you, Belinda. I see you for that. Okay. Must be gentle. Okay, so here is the other nesting doll. And this one is Santa. This one is not Russian, like I said. Um, I can't read everything on the bottom, but it, it says something importers made in China. What's really cool about this, well, first of all, it's about that big. Inside of this Santa are a bunch of little soldiers. I think there are seven of them. I 
I definitely won't be able to hold them all up. Yeah, there's seven. No, there's eight. I'm sorry. There's eight. Some of them have green hats. Some of them have red hats. It's kind of a mixture. But it's cool because they just easily fit right in here. Let me show you the inside. See, they just kind of fit in there. There's something written here. I have no idea what it says. It looks like a signature, but I'm not so sure about that, guys. If it is signed, it was signed in pencil. I do not know what that says. I think it's upside down. Anyway, I just thought Santa was cool with all of his toy soldiers that fit right in there. His face is cute. He's got a lot of detail on his face and his beard. It's, it's kind of um, texturized in here. Cute little Santa. And he is $10, number 51. Did I show you the back? I can't remember. Thank you, Krista. I'm glad you like it. I think he's cute, too. <laughs> he's very unique. Okay. Then my next item is a brooch. And this one is a wreath. But it does have enamel and, and rhinestones in it. It is not marked, I don't think. No, no marks. It has a C-class, but it is uh, kind of a largest, largest brooch. You know, not huge, but not small. <laughs> Book. <laughs> um, Christy, you can. Otherwise, Gina will send me your information. It's no big deal. We do that for each other a lot. Yeah, if you don't want to send it, that's fine. I know it gets a pain in the butt sending stuff to everybody's email. And Krista, I'm Calypso Antiques. Oh, it, it's on the screen, duh, at Gmail. That's funny book. I have <laughs> flashes like that all the time. <laughs> I think I did four. Belinda wants number 82. Okay. Thank you, Belinda. Okay. Let's Thanks. see what I've got now. All Christmassy up in here. Okay. Y'all are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I have new old stock shiny bright blocked Santa still in his package. He's about this big. Oh my goodness. He's amazing. Never been taken out of his little package. Wow. Made in Japan. Got it on the back. He is going to be $12. Number 22. All righty, let's see what else I got. Also new in the package, I have these little panorama Christmas. Krista, I got you for that, I think. Hold on, 22. No, I got Tammy for that. Whew, I cannot keep up with this. Thank you, Tammy. Okay, I think that's right. I think I haven't screwed it up too much. Okay. Also near the package, I have these little panorama, what they call ornaments, and they're these little Santas. They were originally 19 cents. They were made in Hong Kong. Gina, it's so cool that you found these in the package. Oh, I've been diving. <laughs> that, why do you think that I call myself Vintage Digs? I've been digging for this stuff. 
Hi, that's Kathy. Where, hey, Kathy. That's where my name came from is because I dig for this stuff where everybody else is just like walking past stuff. I'm digging through it. Don't think I'm not. So anyway, <laughs> they're going to be eight dollars. Number twenty one. All right. And then I have these two little guys. Which, this one's got both the hangers on him. I don't know how that happened. Let me take one off. These are um, Belinda. I got you for that. Thank you, Belinda. Um, these old Christmas hooks, boy, they're so much thicker than the ones you have now. You know what? The metal on them are so much sturdier. Okay. So these are made in Japan. And these are flocked and felted Santa Clauses. Oh, my gosh. These are pretty old. I have two of them. I'm going to sell them individually. It is marked Japan right there on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's underneath the staple right there. But I do have two. They are just alike, pretty much. Tammy, yeah. you're so right. What's wrong? Oh, she said everything back then was made better. And I'm saying yes. Yeah, it really was. It mm -hmm. wasn't disposable. That's why they're still around. Yeah. But these are going to be, I'm selling them individually. They're going to be $8 each, number 20. And if you're the first one to put it in and you want both, you can do it. If not, I'll take a backup if, you, if there's more than one person that wants it. Linda, I got you for 20. Do you want one or both, honey? Just let me know if you want one or both. Both, if no one else. Okay, I don't see anybody else putting a number in, so... I'll put you down for both. If anybody else, she's she's being nice and saying somebody else can get one if you want it. So you better put the number in now before she changes her mind because I wouldn't be that nice. <laughs> okay. And then finally for my fourth item, I have some more old ornaments. These are little elf pixies, whatever you want to call them, I guess. But they're out of like the chenille pipe cleaner things. And these are made in Japan too. They're not marked on here anywhere, but I did look them up and they are made in Japan. So here's the orange guy. He's got blonde hair. A little package. Here's a green guy that's got yellow blonde hair holding a package and then there's another orange guy so there's two oranges and a green i am selling these separately as well they're going to be six dollars each number 19. so you can tell me which ones you want of those hey pa All right, Belinda, I've got you down for 19 and Kathy. Belinda, how many do you want? Which ones do you want, honey? All right, I'm going to go back to Kat, and you can tell me what you want of those, and then uh, Kathy can, if she wants the other ones, she can let me know, whatever. Y'all just, just figure it out. I'm just here. Hi, Delbert. Hi, Yvonne. Glad to see you both. Okay, guys, this is St. Nicholas. And okay, Belinda. He actually is a music box. And I'll show you that in a minute. 
there's a little bit, I don't know, there's like a little bit of scuff right here, but it's not chipped. There's just some paint missing on the very top of his head. Hey, Vaughn. That time you showed up. I know. Where have you been? <laughs> we missed our other Jersey person. So he is, he's tall. And I don't remember. He's made in Taiwan. I couldn't remember if he was marked or not. He is ceramic. He's really cool. I just, I love the look of him. And he plays, I think it was Jingle Bells. I can't remember now because I haven't slept, but. Is that Jingle Bells? I think it is. Okay, now it's never going to stop. But, you know, I don't know that he's finished. I just think he's really cool. Sorry, guys. He's going to be playing all night long now. And he's $14, number 53. He kind of looks like Gandalf, which is probably why I like him. That Santa Claus is coming to town. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, y'all. I've lost. See, I've lost my mind. <laughs> I needed a Gina-sized mug of coffee before this sale. I, I did, too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's Metallica. Yeah. Enter Sandman. Santa. I go with that one. <laughs> okay. Now, this is kind of different, guys. This is something I thought... This was like a little Christmas box. I thought somebody might like it for the ephemera. And then I realized maybe it's not Christmas. Maybe it's just like little babies on it. I don't know. It looks kind of Christmassy. It kind of does, right? I think that this is really old. It's like a really thin box. It's not like a modern gift box, but it it's kind of, you know, thin like one would be. It's, it's definitely older. I just thought it was kind of cute. So I picked it up in an estate sale. At some point, somebody wrote on it. Probably a child. I don't, it's kind of like scribble. Dang children. I know it. <laughs> I thought it would be cool for like an, a Christmas assemblage or something like that. I mean, I can tell by looking at it. It's, it's really old. It's faded, but it still, you know, has color to it. Yeah, winter at the very least, I think so too. And so this is going to be two dollars. Whoops, number eighty-six. For all you crafters out there, I thought somebody might get a kick out of this. When I see things that are cute and old like this, I just get them. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. If nobody wants it, I'll keep it as my Christmas display or piece for it. Okay. Then I have these two ornaments and they're, they're cherubs or angels, if you may. Um, one is playing a lute and one is playing a harp. They're very bright white. What could I use? Chad, I just saw you for that. Thank you. I think the box is cool. I don't know if that'll help. Ah. Okay, Santa. I am failing at this, guys. <clears throat> okay, now I think you can see it. But this is the one with the harp. And this is the one with the they're they're texturized. It's kind of like they're bisque, but they're not. Oh my gosh, look at the there's a butt hanging out. I got these at an estate sale as well, and they were with other vintage ornaments. So I think these probably are, but I, I can't tell you that for sure because there's nothing on them. Here's a little butt shot for you. 
At least Everybody two. needs a butt shot. They do. These two are gonna be four dollars. Number 78. And they're they're kind of large. You know what? These would be good for like um a, a wreath, you know, since so many people do their own wreath, these would be good for that. And you could paint them if you were so inclined. <laughs> here you go, here you go, Jody. <laughs> I know it's probably hard to see. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Then the last thing this round is another ornament. And this, I'm not sure what he is. But he, he's ceramic. But he's not marked, is what I meant. Okay, snowman. Let's try that. It's weird. He has like, I guess these are two children like building the snowman. I'm not really sure what they're doing. It's kind of suspect, but. Delana says she'll take them, but she can't remember the number. Oh, for the uh, cherubs? Okay. Hang on one second, Belinda. They are number four. I'm sorry, number 78 for four. My goodness. <laughs> Angel <Yes>. booty. <laughs> <laughs> That's my stripper name. <laughs> okay, guys, so I meant to only have these, this guy's a dollar. So he is a dollar, not two. Um, if anybody's interested in this snowman. Thomas was number 78. Okay. Wait, did Belinda get 78 though? I'm so confused. Hang on. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Belinda, you wanted the um the cherubs, right? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, Belinda's getting 77. Okay. Thanks, Belinda. And yeah, the cherubs were 78. Yeah, Jody. I like Angel Booty and I cannot lie. <laughs> are you sure, Belinda? I'm sure he doesn't mind. You both are so nice. I know. It's like fighting over who's going to get it Whoa. the opposite way. <laughs> Instead of fighting against each other, they're fighting for each other. Welcome back, Nikki. Did I do four? I think I did four. I don't know. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> you can just lie. I don't know. It doesn't matter to me anyway. All right. Let's see what I got here. I have two of these that I'm going to sell individually. Um, they're these 1979 ornaments. And these are Hallmark. And it's these doves inside the heart. And the, the doves spin around the heart. I think that's so cute. It's 1979. It's a heart shaped. It is marked Hallmark right here. Okay. But it's upside down right there. <laughs> but it's decorated on both sides. So it's like a it's like a faux wood looking plastic. But I just thought it was pretty because the doves go around. And I do have two of them. I'm gonna sell them individually. For six dollars each, number fifty-four. If anybody's interested in those, then I have this precious little angel, literally precious little angel, and she is made by Delta of Japan. I get her string horn show it to you. Belinda, I got you for 54. Do you want one or both, honey? I'm sorry I'm confusing everything with that, but I have multiples of stuff, so I'm trying to <laughs> trying to show it all. Okay. So this sweet little Delta of Japan angel. She's kind of like a fairy. She's got a little smudge on her eye. I'm trying to clean it off for her. A little sleep on her eye. I'll wash that off. I don't know what that is. But she's got blue hair. She's a blue haired. Both. Okay, I got you, Belinda. She's got 
sleepy eyes. And that was a piece of fuzz on her dress. I got it off. But she's got her little angel wings. There's her little sticker that says Delta, Delta Japan. There's a glare on it, so I'm having trouble showing it. But she's going to be $8, number 24. And then I have another, um, another one more Christmas brooch that I'm done with the brooches for tonight. And it's the Barbara. I got you for that one. Thank you. What was that number? 24. And this one is a Christmas bell brooch. And it actually rings. A cute little Christmas bell brooch. And it's going to be $6, number 53. And then I have one more item for my round. Oh, and I'm going to die of heat stroke. I didn't go get a fan like I said I was going to. All right, these are pretty old ornaments. <laughs> um, I'm gonna again price them individually. They're all they're the same, but they're different. So same rules apply. Whoever puts the number in, if nobody else is interested, they get a choice of how many they want, which ones, etc. Or if more than one person puts the number in, y'all can work it out because y'all are all wonderful people and you do that. So these are made in Japan little boots. This one's got a little Santa Claus in it with a couple of, he's holding a little Christmas tree in his hand. <laughs> and then there's a Christmas tree here. And there's glitter on the boot. It is marked on the bottom. Japan. It's about this big. There's the first one. Here's the accompanying one. It is a little snowman in a boot. He's holding a little candy cane. It's got a little tree back there with a little ornament. Again, it's marked Japan on the bottom. And then the third one that accompanies these, I'm trying to straighten that little tree up a little bit, is this little boot. And it's got like a couple of little Christmas candles in it with an ornament. And this tree has got like some turquoisey, like they use like a turquoise colored uh, tinsel to make that little brush tree, I guess. And it's got some holly in the back. So there's the third boot. These boots are gonna be $10 each, number 18. And that is my four items. Krista Morgan, all three, 18. Okay, that makes it real easy for me. Thank you. Congrats. Those are really cool. Those are very, those are amazing. When I found those, I was just like, oh my gosh. They're awesome. <laughs> Look at this family. This picture cracks me up. They're very happy to be singing these Christmas carols. There's the back of it. It's in pretty good shape. So this is from 1942. Um, where's the inside? It's a reprint from a Christmas Carol book from the 20s. It does have, you know, a little bit of wear, like you can kind of see it in here. But that's just because it's old. And it does have, you know, all of your favorite Christmas carols, but it also has really pretty illustrations that go with them. Look at that. Oops. So cool. 
I don't want you to destroy this book, but some of these would look really nice framed and you could use these to decorate for Christmas. Look at that. I love this book very much. That's very Art Deco right there. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember how many there are. It doesn't have an index, but it's about 35 pages and there is a carol um, and a picture on each page. So. Oh, look at this one. This is cute. I think I showed you the front cover, but it's so cute. Look at that. But the cover is everything. The cover just cracks me up. And this book of Christmas carols is going to be $12, number 87. Jody, you are star quality. What are you talking about? Is Jody trying to put herself down again? Uh, uh, we're going to have to go to Maine. Just saying. Thank you, Belinda. I, I see you for that. That's a cute book. <laughs> Linda, I would. He's going to have to make an appearance. I think y'all would like to see him. If he's feeling better. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he will tonight because we have to monitor Dexter. So he probably can't come in here tonight. Okay. So I have another brooch. This one is a, a dog, a puppy. And he has all these red and green rhinestones in him, on him. And his eyes are clear rhinestones. There's no information on the back. He's just your normal C class. But he's definitely a Christmas puppy with those colors. Let's see if I can that to show a little bit better, maybe. Isn't he cute? And he, oh, he's a little bit larger brooch. And he is $8, number 80. Thanks, Yvonne. I agree with you, Tammy. She really does. Okay. Then the last thing for this round is this. So I spent a lot of time trying to find out about this tin because I was really curious. It It's Bentley's of London. Oops, sorry, guys. And oh, how it, <laughs> it's very bougie. <laughs> But the expiration date of the um, sweets that were in here is from 1998. So I assume the tin is like from probably 97, maybe. And it has these kitties all, look at that Santa Claus kitty. There's just these adorable cats all around it. I know everybody loves their cats that come to our sales, so I had to get those. There's some like Victorian cats. I guess they're all kind of Victorian. Anyway, um, it's, it's in great shape. It'd be good for like stacking, you know, a Christmas display. And this tin is $4, number 53. I forgot to show you, but it's about that big. Book is the best. Okay. Gina. I think <laughs> <laughs> Reading PA. He was like, my dad turned 69 tomorrow and I was going to get him a dog for his birthday. My mom said no. And she was going to ground my 43 year old ass. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. You might need to be grounded. I'm just saying. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, book. You probably have done something you've gotten away with over these years that, you know. Okay, so I have this Crystal Darks Rudolph. 
Aww. He has a little red nose. And he's a musical. He's about this big. And he is from, see, I keep looking these days going, oh, well, that's not really vintage. It's from 2000, so I guess it kind of is. That's 21 years now. But, and his music mechanism is really good. It's not wound too tight or anything. You just wind it slightly and it plays, so. And he is going to be $10, number 40, for the Crystal Day Art musical Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. See him down. Oh, I meant to ask because I don't remember. Did anybody pick this up? Oh, Gina, I don't remember. Either. If you're, if you did and you're in here, please let me know because I don't remember. I didn't write it down. <laughs> so I'll go back and watch if I need to. Uh, Lynn Mack, number 40. All right. Thank you. Hi, Lynn. Welcome. Um, Kat, can you drop my email in there for her? Yeah. Because, sure. of course, I didn't put it on the screen because I'm an idiot. It's at AOL, right? Yes. Gotcha. I know Thank you. And I don't believe you bought from me before, Lynn. So if you can send me just your PayPal information and your address so I know who I'm talking to <laughs> when I go to do invoices. And then I have um, these little salt and peppers. These are not that old, but you know, you still need salt and peppers on your table, right? So it's just these little ceramic Christmas trees. I like those just because, you know, they're the traditional colors. So most people can use them. And they are going to be $5, number 41 for the little salt and pepper set. All right, what else did I have over here? Oh. I have this little lot. Now, there's been some used out of these and off the cards, but I just lotted all these old little jingle bells together because I figured somebody could use them for a craft project or something. And they're just nice little old bells. Like, these are from Woolworths. These were 15 cents when they were sold. And these are like the gold colored ones. And then here's some that are a little bit smaller there from Woolworths that are like the silver ones. There's four in that package. See, they're a little bit smaller. And then I've got these two cards, these two older cards with some more little jingle bells on them. So you'll get all of the jingle bells together in one lot to do as you please. And all the jingle bells are going to be $6, number 27. Over the side. And then I have a uh, 41 Thomas. Okay, thank you, Thomas. I didn't know if you were still here. I hadn't been watching the chat. I'm horrible. Sorry about that. And then 27 goes to Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. And then finally, for my last item in this round, I have another vintage ornament. It is another Hallmark from 1976. I only have one of these, but it kind of matches the ones from 1979. I guess this was like a line of ornaments they did. So it looks like the faux, you know, it's like a faux wood look. But that's Christmas 1976. And then on the back side, it says Peace on Earth. It's about this big. And I'm trying to see where it's marked Hallmark because I know it is. It's probably right on the edge where I can't see it. But it is Hallmark. I know it is. I already looked it up. But it is going to be $6, number 55, for the Peace on Earth 
1976. I love that. So yeah, cool. I thought those are, I mean, look at this is next to the 1979 one. See, they did like this whole wood theme. Like it's really Scandinavian looking, which makes me really like it. <laughs> And that was my fourth item. 76, the year you graduate from high school, Linda. Um, no way, Linda. No, oh, I've seen your picture. That's not possible. Is there a moderator even in here? Um, is uh, Angela still here? Angela is a moderator. And me. Right? You should make me a moderator. Book Wait, is moderator. Why is it not showing up as a mod in here? I don't know. Okay. I don't know either. I'll play around with that while you're doing your thing. Okay. Okay, guys. The next thing I have, I wasn't sure about this either, but I, I went ahead and got it. This is an advent calendar. It doesn't have days, but it has pictures. You know, it doesn't have actual dates, so you could use it every year. And this is also um, Latin American themed. I just thought it would be cool to use in your decor. There's a donkey. Or is that a horse? No, it's a horse. I'm trying to be really careful with it. I think this is actually pretty old. There's no information on the back. I just, I picked it up at an estate sale. Probably the same one as that book actually. I just thought it would be fun for somebody that enjoys advent calendars. And it got that big. And it's going to be $2, number 89, if anyone's interested. Linda, I still don't believe you graduated in 76. That's crazy. Oh, thank you for typing all that in, Lynn. I appreciate it. Okay. Next up, I have this. This is really cool, guys. This is a very large Better Homes and Gardens magazine. Well, it's actually more like um, a book, you know, that you would pick up at the grocery store or the bookstore or wherever. And it's from 1967, as you can see. It has some amazing ads, but it also has... All these different craft ideas. Let me see if I can. It's kind of hard to hold up just because it's it's heavy. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. It's it's pretty thick. It has definitely over 100 pages. It has 162 pages, guys, and it has the original ads in here. Ah, I'm trying to show you this Santa right there. Isn't that cool? I I can find a good page. Um, here it tells you how to make ornaments. This would be good for junk journaling if you wanted to do that. I don't know. Look at these ornaments. So cute. And like I said, this is like, you know, not a normal magazine size. It's like a, a jumbo magazine. Um, it does have a few, you know, wrinkles here, probably because of how big it is and how thick it is. Let's see if there's something I want. Look at this. Look at this picture. Ah! Isn't that cool? And this magazine is going to be $12, number 54. Kathy, don't leave. Oh, yeah, you are going on vacation. I know that tree is fantastic. <laughs> okay. And I have, I have only one on a Lee. Now I can't find the card. Here it is. So this guy, this is Santa, and he's skiing. There's his face. He's from 1963, and it actually is here on the tag. 
trying to remember where it was. Gosh, I'm not sure you can see that. I'm trying to be gentle with them. It's up here in the corner. So he is older. He's in pretty good shape for his age. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with him. It looks like maybe back here, some of the glue, there's like a little bit of glue residue, I guess. I don't know if he came that way. I like that he's got the skis. I do too. He's got a cute face too. Mm-hmm. Like he looks face. jolly. Yes. And he's got his little backpack, you know, because he's, he's skiing. Yeah, he's in good shape. I just realized, I don't know. I don't know if there should have been like a white ball here. I'm not sure. But he definitely didn't come with it when I got him. He lost his ball. He lost <laughs> his one ball. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Claus is holding him for him. <laughs> <laughs> True. She kind of runs the deal. Yeah. yeah. And he is $20 number 50. He's real happy to be skiing. <laughs> it's because he's away from Mrs. Claus for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, y'all. I don't know. Did I do four? I don't think so. I think I did three. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to. Oh, I know what I'll do. Okay. So next I have some more animals in a boot, but these are cats, kittens. And they're also giving side eye. I don't think I showed these earlier, right? Linda, want, oh wait, where am I at? Belinda wants number 50. Okay, cool, congratulations. Um, these kitties, there is like a bit of cold painting missing right here you could easily fix that if you wanted to that's what i thought belinda i'm sorry you got him i think excuse me guys it's again i'm sorry i haven't slept okay how about this this is really really cool this is a nativity it's made in italy And it is marked so here. Now, I don't, I was not familiar with these until I picked them up. But they're called Mod, I'm probably butchering this, Depose. I don't know. Okay, wait, that. she's saying she saw Krista first, so I could be wrong. Oh, okay. Hang on, guys. What number was it? 50? 50. I think I think was first. Yes. Thank I'm you, sorry. Glenn. I appreciate you helping us out. Yeah. And Leanne, she said it too. <laughs> okay. We appreciate you guys helping us with that. It is so hard to watch that chat and do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Um, so these were a thing uh, back in the 50s and 60s. They were collectible. There's a lot of quality in them. It's a, um, it's like a hard plastic. I'm not, I'm not sure what the exact process is for making these. They're really cool. I picked up another one. I haven't, I might, I might show it in the sale. I don't have it ready, but it's really cool. And they're about that big. I'm just hoping you can see all the detail in them. They're really, really cool. Um, obviously, you got baby Jesus, and you have a, a dove, and then just Mary and Joseph. Some of them have, you know, a full nativity with the wise men and the animals as well. But some of them just have Joseph, Mary, and the baby, and that's one of them. And this is going to be $15, number 66. So Jody and Kathy are on vacation. Very cool. I want to go on vacation. I'm going to drive to Florida. 
Okay. I definitely did four now, Tina. Okay. <laughs> book. <laughs> no, I was trying to read. Thank you, book. <laughs> Thank you so much, book. Okay, what did I have? Oh, I have this crocheted humongo Santa just sitting in my lap. I gotta fix his beard and everything. His crocheting's gone a little gone a little wild. Santa's gone wild here. <laughs> He, he's had a hard night. Yeah. <laughs> he's been watching Girls Gone Wild videos. But, <laughs> but he's got a big old booty. <laughs> but he's a good shelf sitter. And he is going to be $8, number 44. I need to fix his mustache. It's really bothering me. There you go, sir. That's better. You look a little better now. You look more presentable. You're not going to scare the children anymore. Dan, Holly, move. <laughs> Belinda. <laughs> she thought he didn't have legs. Well, Tom, now, hey, got him. That's he's got penguins. legs. <laughs> when you want penguins? I, don't know if, I might have a penguin. I'll have to look. All right, Thomas, I have you for that. Thank you so much. Now he's got legs, Belinda. Look, they're just kind of stubby. <laughs> he's got little stubby legs. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just so fat, it kind of like hangs over his legs. So that's what we're going to go with. Next, I have this um, vintage set of the tree candles. And there's 20 in the box. The box is kind of in rough shape. It's seen better days for sure. But it is still in its original box. And it was, these came from the Christmas shop in Williamsburg, Virginia. So see, they've taped the box up. But there is 20 of the little tapers that are like this big that go in used to go in your um, little clips for your Christmas trees. So they are going to be $6, number 29. And then I have, a, speaking of clips for your Christmas tree, I have a set of one, two, three, four, five clippies right here and they are cardinals there are a couple of different sizes of the little clips that go on your christmas tree there's one and then here's one that's a little bit bigger see he's he's the big brother cardinal or the mommy maybe but if i can find the camera that would be helpful But they do have their little clippies. So you can clip them on your tree branches. And there's two of the big ones. And then three of the smaller. One, two, and three. And all of the cardinals together are going to be $12, number 34. Yeah, there's no clips with it, Trisha. They're just the candles. They're just the replacement candles. Belinda, I have you for the Cardinals. Thank you, honey. I'm going to put them right over here. Third, four. I have to write it down because I'm scatterbrained. And then finally, my last thing for this round is this little, I guess you can call it a fairy lamp, little Christmas with the holly on it. And this is like a bone color with like a gold rim around it. And then the top comes off. It's got like the kind that you spin to take it off so that it doesn't break. 
and you put the shade back up like that. And I can turn the light off so you can see what it looks like when you're sitting in the dark. Ooh, spooky. And these are like, I'll turn the light back up so you can see it better and turn these lights off. But it's like these flowers, they're dimensional, like they stand up. And then you have like all this reticulated like cutouts that are kind of heart shaped. But let me turn this back on and I'll turn the lights off inside of the lamp so you can kind of see what it looks like without the lights on. There we go. It's like these little flowers and then the cutouts are heart shaped. So it's about this big and it is going to be number 42 and it's going to be $10. And that was my fourth item. Okay, guys, who remembers these ornaments from the seventies? Um, I have four of them and they're all, they're all different and I'm going to be selling them for $3 each. So I thought if anybody's interested, you could type in horse, dog, these two are bigger. Um, then there's an angel and she, she may just be some sort of decoration. She actually doesn't have a string, but isn't she cute? with our curly hair. Um, there's also a caroler. And again, they're all $3. So if anyone is interested, you could just type in caroler, angel, dog. I just noticed he's on a sled. <laughs> that and horse. That dog is super cute. I know. I definitely remember these growing up. Oh, thanks, Nikki. Nobody wants them. That's okay. Okay. Next, I have this book I have another book and this is another Christmas Carol book look at this cover I'd like to say this is 1969 it is it's a, a reprint I oh I got a couple of dolls coming towards y'all for the the scary sale <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> um this book is so cute so it's not the same carols. It's definitely not the same pictures as the other Christmas Carol book I showed. But it also has amazing art. And look at this. Away in a manger. Can you tell that I love books? Gina loves books too. I do love books. And I love book. <laughs> I love book too. Everybody loves book. I hope. If not that crazy. Anyway, I, I could show every page. So I'm not going to. It's in good shape. And it is $12 number 63. I do, Thomas. I need to mail Gina's doll to her. For sure. Okay. So I have another book. And this one is a cookbook. Somehow I'm running out of room here, guys. Um, this book is really cool. 
So it's a holiday cookbook and a special occasion cookbook. It's Better Homes and Gardens, and it is 1959. And it, look at the spine, look at it. It's really in good shape. It's really nice on the inside. It's not loose or anything. Um, it has amazing illustrations. Look at that. Go. Well, I was going to skip to Christmas, but look at that. It's so cool. Let me go to Christmas. It has New Year's Eve first. Um, okay, so Christmas is the last part. It has all the different holidays and has like pictures of awesome food. Uh, there's a, a foreign fair section for your Mexican and Chinese food. <laughs> okay, where are you, Christmas? Okay, now of course I can't find it. <laughs> Casual buffets, American style. The problem is it's not numbered. So I'm just trying to find it. It's 160 pages. Oh my goodness, where's Christmas? Oh my gosh, so it has a lot of fruitcake recipes in here. I am not a fan of fruitcake. I know some people do like it. But I've had some bad fruitcake experiences. This reminds me of Katie and her Jello here. <laughs> and again, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spend too much time. Okay, look at this lettuce person. <laughs> <laughs> That's worth it for that alone. That's hilarious. <laughs> this book is twelve dollars, number sixty-four. I kind of want to make the lettuce person. I do too. Uh, uh, Yvonne, I don't. What Texas people do? <laughs> I know, casual. That's something like my grandmother would have said. Oh, it's casual. <laughs> Ooh, there's a creepy clown on the back. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Sorry, Belinda, I should have said that. Clown alert. Oh, cool, Jen. I didn't know you were in Texas. I'm in Dallas. Oh, my gosh. Shut up. Uh, Gina, I think that's... I think I should four. That was a quick four. Oh, yeah, because I did the ornaments pretty fast, I think. Okay, hold on one second. I'm trying to reach something. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. You're close to me. We should go thrift. Super close. Are you? Do you go to North Texas or? I have a friend whose daughter is going to North Texas, and she loves living in Denton. You know, I'm kind of short, so it takes me a minute to reach things. <laughs> Let me see. I have some candles I could show that are right here. Oh, look who's here. I have a dog to show you. Oh, yeah. I want to see that. Is he okay? He, oh. he, as soon as you texted me, he woke up. Okay, so Rick, I texted Rick while you were showing, and I said, how is Dexter? And he had been in bed until I texted, and then Dexter got up. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? His heart's beating real fast. He just woke up. Do you say hi to your people? Oh, I heard him. Yeah, he's he's not. He's whimpering. Yeah. Okay. Poor baby. He wanted to come in here. He though. says hi to Thomas and Belinda and all of his <coughs> dear friends. That's Rocky. <coughs> so Rocky's a really smart dog. He's part whippet. He was my mom's dog. And um he went into where Dexter was sleeping and was barking. And I was like, what is going on? I think Rocky was saying, get up, get up. Because then he was just, I know. Makes me sad, too. They're sending healing vibes to you, Dexter. You'll be okay. Poor baby. Thanks, Rick. They all want to see you sometime. 
I'll have to go live when he has his next gig. And I've seen him. Ha ha. <laughs> <Yeah. I'm> special. <laughs> oh, Tammy's here. Hi, Tammy. Oh, I didn't even know she was here. I didn't either. Jody, he already left with Dexter. Okay. I have a brass candle holder deer is the best way to describe it. It does have a little bit of patina right here. I'm going to clean that with some Brasso before I send it out if anybody purchases it. And he has like a little thing up here that you can put a candle on. Of course, one of the bigger ones, but I didn't have a bigger one here to show you. Or you can put some kind of decoration. Like in the picture when I was doing my thingy, my uh, preview, I put this on there. I thought that was cute on there. So, it is going to be, let me figure out what number it is because I put this down and I don't know. Oh, okay, there it is. It's going to be $8, number 36 for the brass um, deer candle holder. And that's for like a pillar candle, one of the bigger ones. And then, while I have this candle right here, I might as well show it. This is a holiday elegance, and it's a vintage, um, like, old town scene that they've molded. So it's dimensional, like this sticks out. It's not flat. Ye old town. And it has not been burned. The wick's still there. And it's going to be $6, number 43. All right, Black Dog Vintage has got the deer. Thank you. Okay, and then I have this. Um, again, this is a little angel baby vintage Japanese ornament. I'm going to take it out of this. I'm going to take it out of the bag so you can see it because the bag is open. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it out so you can see it. And it's got the little, it's on his little butt cheek. The flocking has gotten kind of, it's there. It's like pushed up. I don't know how that happened. But he needs a good flocking on his butt cheek. So <laughs> she does. I don't know what it's holding in its hands. Maybe it's supposed to be like symbols or something. I, I don't know. It's got a little gold glitter ball on its head and little gold wings. It's got a cute little face. Yeah. Its butt needs a good flocking. So it is going to be $6, number 25 for this little red angel. And I'm going to put it back in the package. So I don't screw it up. Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> we did get pretty far in the sale without you saying that. I know. Well, I was so discombobulated with everything that was going on at the beginning when I couldn't get stuff going. <laughs> it messed me up. <laughs> Kathy, I got you for that. Thank you, Kathy. You know, when, you, when you're trying to do something and you just get so confused and then nothing goes right after that. You're just like crazy the whole time. That's kind of how I am right now. So, and then finally for this round, I have this little, let me see what year this is. I don't even know. It's not that old, I don't think. It just looks kind of old. Yeah, 1996. So it's not super old, but... It's the gingerbread boy. I love the gingerbread boy. But this is one of those that you could, you know, take the pictures out and use it and you wouldn't have to feel bad about it. There he is with the fox.
There he is being bad. I can run fast. Anyone can see. I'm the gingerbread boy and you can't catch me. Mm-hmm, being bad. But it's going to be just $2 number 30 for that little book. For the gingerbread boy. And that is my four. Okay, guys. I have four ornaments for you. Um, the first one, I think she may be Norwegian or Swedish. She's missing a hook up here. But other than that, she's really cool. She has this really long ponytail back here. And she's holding a chicken, which I think is really cool. I'm assuming she's hand painted. She, she looks like it. She's about to go kill that chicken and eat it. Mm -mm, that's her pet. <laughs> yeah. Her, her pet dinner. <laughs> I guess she's, I, I guess the chicken is in a basket. Another one of those things you notice on stream yard, but you don't notice when it's I know. Isn't it horrible? <laughs> yes, Kathy, she is wood. And yeah, I'm pretty darn sure she's hand painted. She's really pretty. She's got this little flower back here. And she is $3, number 93. She's super cute. Okay. Then I have this ornament. And I don't know. This is probably newer. It is ceramic and it's a Scotty. It's a red Scotty. Uh, a red Scotty. A black Scotty with a red bow. Christmas bow. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Yeah, he's definitely ceramic. He may also be hand painted. I don't know. One of you guys might know what that says. It says a Linda something design. I'm not familiar with her. That's all it says. Super cute. And here it is from the front. Here it is from the back. Just a little Scotty. Very cute. And he is $4, number 92 from the Scotty. Okay, next I have a couple trains. Lynn, I was trying to find a penguin for you, and I might have to offer them for our next Christmas sale because I don't I don't see them here with me. This it's almost like a squeaker, but it it's not a squeaker. It's just kind of that rubbery plastic. But look how cute it is, these people in the train. And the train's all decorated for Christmas. Look, we can't take a break. <laughs> What? Is she telling us to take a break? Jane's from Doggone Happy takes a break. Why don't we? <laughs> I know Jane does. Well, Jane goes a lot longer than we do. Yeah, Jane's like marathon. Yeah. If anyone is in Jane's sale tonight, let her know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm probably not going to be there. I'm going to have to go to sleep. <laughs> But look how cute this is. I'm sorry. I'm spending too much time on it. But I think it's cute. It's great for like a, a Christmas display or something. Looks kind of like the 70s to me. And this is $2, number 90 for the train. <laughs> okay. Then I have another train, and this one is ceramic. I'm assuming it's a Christmassy train, too. And this one is, is pretty. It's got some gold detailing on it. It has to be Christmas because it's red, right? I don't know. There's no information on it. I just thought it was cute for a Christmas sale. And this one is $3, number 91. K, 
Tammy, I see you for the train. Thank you. Jody, you didn't hear it? I can do it, but I'm not as dramatic. Shut up, Thomas. Shut up, Thomas. Okay. That was four, Gina. Oh, dang. You blew through those. They were ornaments. Okay. Yeah, when you go through the ornaments, it goes fast. <laughs> mm -hmm. It does. All right. So I have this. Somebody handmade this. And I just think it's interesting. So that's why I'm selling it. You know, it was like, it's a handmade ornament. It's an older one. And I just think it's kind of cute the way they did it. So it is <laughs> nuts. <laughs> oh, no. They're red nuts. <laughs> They're red nuts. Where's Gabby. <laughs> Where is Debbie? Yeah, where is Debbie? I haven't seen her in a while. Since last week. I haven't been in sales the past couple days. so I haven't either. What's going on with, um, with Debbie, guys? That's right, Jody. Nuts. <laughs> but they made it where it's like they've got these little, I guess it's supposed to be like these little bells made out of these little plastic cups. And they put glitter and lace and they did all kinds of stuff with this. So I think it's supposed to be like you hang it somewhere and people are supposed to kiss under it, under the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. <laughs> so anyway, I think you should hang them in your home and kiss under the nuts. Personally, I don't have anybody kiss, so I can't kiss under the nuts. So <laughs> they're going to be $2.00. Number 45 for this very interesting decoration. I couldn't throw this away. I just couldn't do it. I looked at it and I was like, I just can't. I can't do it. I thought it was just too funny. That's right, Jody. Kiss under the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got... I got to reach this. <laughs> Trisha, you hadn't heard that? That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, I didn't know. You haven't heard that? Where have you been, Trisha? That's been a tradition forever. <laughs> At least that's what I've been told. People have been lying to me all these years. <laughs> <laughs> They've been lying to me. <laughs> Lies and deception. <laughs> Hold on, I'm grabbing something. <laughs> you just can't trust people these days. They'll tell you anything. Cash you kisses. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They're two dollars for the nuts, Jody. I think you need them so you can kiss under the nuts. <laughs> All right, so I have one of these, like the soap bottle cover women that somebody made. You know what I mean? The same, the Mrs. Claus one. And she's got her little bottle. And they actually put like some styrofoam on the bottom to make it where it's level and everything. And then they put something in there to weight it down. But she's got some boobies, look. Oh my god, they're playing. She you know, does. normally they have them kind of flat. Not her. Look at this. <laughs> She's like double D's. You know what? You know what Santa's asking for for Christmas? <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> I, uh, Jody, okay, you got the nuts, honey. Jody, I'll send you my nuts. So, <laughs> um, I had her for $8, but I changed it to five because I noticed one of her hands is missing. She's got like a hook. Oh, no. <laughs> She's disabled there. I don't know what happened to her little hand, but it came off at some point. But the way these sleeves are, you really don't even have to see the hands or you can put another doll hand on there or just leave it as like Captain Hook over here. So 
actually you can get it and you can hang the nuts off of it. Look at this. That's perfect. <laughs> you gotta be creative, people. So anyway, she's gonna be five dollars over forty-eight. Thomas wants it. Okay, I got you, Thomas. <laughs> So, yeah, Krista, this is the time of night we start getting a little crazy. So, just so you know, be forewarned. Jody. <laughs> we get a little weird. So, Jody says she's going to love those nuts and think of you. <laughs> Wonderful. You just stroke them and love them and just think of me the whole time. <laughs> that will make me very happy. <laughs> Krista, that's so true. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> now we know how she lost our hands. He took his hands. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's the price you pay to have to hold on to those all the time, I guess. <laughs> I have to write Jody now for these so I don't forget that she's got my nuts. <laughs> well, I want she's your wife. She's about to be. Right. I know. I don't want. I wouldn't want to give my nuts to anybody else. So I got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pull those out because I was just laughing my rear end off on that. <laughs> okay. So I have these and they're really super cute. These are Hallmark from 1997, 1996, and 1994. It skipped 95, I guess. But I am going to sell these as a lot. But they are the Hallmark and their Mother Goose little story books. And when you open it up, it's got like Mary Had a Little Lamb in that one. And that is from Christmas 1996. And then Christmas 1997 was Little Boy Blue. Just hang it like this, this little book. And then this one was Hey Diddle Diddle. So it's like these little shadow boxes inside the books. And this is According from 1994. Webster, transitive verb, one cheaply dialectal. <laughs> <laughs> to waste in trifling. Oh three, my. Pokes, what? Trifling. I said, hey, diddle diddle, and she said all that. I didn't even match the button. I don't like that my phone listens to me when I'm not paying attention. That's scary, guys. I don't like that at all. I didn't even match a button. So anyway, the three books, I'll see if I can say this without my phone going off again. The three little Christmas ornament books, shadow boxes. Isn't that cute though? Look at that. Um, all three are going to be $12, number 46. For the three. What was that? Mary had a little lamp out. A book, you're so right. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary, Tammy. I don't like it. Ugh. Don't like it at all. Hush, nobody's talking to you. I was trying to find this other ornament I wanted to show. Was this it? Maybe. There's a code, okay. What's the code? What? I don't know. For jealousy in a, a group marriage, I guess. So I'm not sure. Gina, I think I'm on my last round, but I, I think you should keep going if you want to. Because I think I showed more at the beginning. No, that's okay. I mean, we can always do another sale. I got plenty to do another sale with. So, um, This was the 1980 Hallmark. It's got these two little angels ringing the bell, which... When they're doing it that way, they can't really, but but they swivel around and they're inside the bell. And it's just it says 1980 on 
both sides. And it's going to be 47, number four. And that was my four for this round. Okay. I do, Tammy. I haven't. I can do. I could do another round after this of cards if y'all want. Yes, yeah, Sister Wise for Life for sure. Book. Okay. Um, I have. These guys are so cute, y'all. I have three of these Christmas raccoons. Because, um, you know, when you think of Christmas, you think of raccoons. They're so cute. So each of them is holding something different. He's got holly. He has a sock or a stocking. And then this guy has a candy cane. Sorry, it's hard to hold them all together at the same time. They're just super cute. They're not marked, so I'm not sure about them. Um, they're, they're kind of big. You know, they're not little. They're, I think they're all, they're bisque for sure. But they're cute. They're very happy that it's Christmas time. Let's see if we can do it. Aren't they cute? Those are cute. So all three of these are going to be $12. Because they have to be sold as a lot. Because they belong together. They're three raccoons up to Christmas shenanigans. Okay. Then I have... I have this. So I did, I have another stained glass uh, ornament that I sold earlier. I think Thomas got it. And I do have one more. And I believe this one is hand painted as well. And this one has candles and holly. Sorry, guys. I have an itch in my eye. Whoops. Handed me the wrong card. And this one is $3, number 95. Get the chuck a little bit better. <laughs> Dina, what are your dogs up to? Thank you, Belinda. I got you for that. And then the last thing I have is this ornament. This is this is definitely older. Um it is plastic in here. And I'm not sure, but I think this is probably from the 60s or 70s. It's Santa in, like in a gazebo, I guess. It's definitely an older piece. It does have some ribbon here. It may be the 70s, actually. That kind of pattern was popular back then but it's Santa he's kind of he's kind of weird looking but I like him I'm trying to get his face in there a little bit closer I guess it's like he's waiting you know for the kids to come see him or something I'm not sure but he's kind of wonky and this is um it's a little bit larger and this one is six dollars, number ninety-six. <laughs> His face is just hilarious. I know he he looks really guilty, doesn't he? But I don't know what's going on. But I think he's funny. <laughs> Gina, I think I only I only did three, but I don't. I don't know what else I have, guys. I do have some candles. If Hang on. Let me grab my candles. They're right here. And then, Tammy, I can do some cards. I have these two beeswax candles. Let's 
I do believe they are vintage. I got them at an estate sale. I just thought they were cool. I love me some red beeswax. And these candles goodness, are $4, number 62. I don't know what you missed, Jody. Oh, there you go, Tom. You know what? A lot of Santas in the 70s did have strawberries. Thank you, Belinda. I've got you. Okay, Tammy. Oh, my gosh. Did you get more deer, Thomas? Okay, Gina, I did four if you're back. I am here. Okay. And I'm going to go through some of these cards real fast. Of course, I dropped my earpiece, so I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> ah, falling apart, guys. Falling apart. Okay. So, I have a set. Hopefully, you saw it in my video or in my picture. I have a set of vintage um well i was going to show you the plug these aren't going to be like super super old well i don't know how old they are they're not a white cord so that makes me feel like they're not super super old but the santa headlights they do work i had them plugged in in my video to test them out to make sure because i don't like selling things that don't work and there's one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, two, four, six, eight, ten. There's ten Santa hats on here. I can't count tonight either, apparently. And they are going to be ten dollars, number fifty-six for the Santa heads. And the lights do work. I checked them out. I tested them for you. Hey, Chris, I got you for that. Thank you, girl. Okay. And then I have, I'm only going to do a couple more things and we're going to call it for the night because we've been up for two and a half hours. Just about. So, uh, my last vintage ornaments that I'm going to show tonight are these flocked pink angels. I have two of them. I'm going to sell individually. See if I can take them out. They're like a hot pink but they are in amazing condition for this age. Look at that. The color is still vibrant. Somebody just had these stored away, I think, because I don't think these were ever even used. I'm going to put it back in a little package here. But I do have two of them that I'm going to sell individually. And they are going to be, if I could find my card, that would be fantastic. Oh, here it is. $8 each, number 26. I have two of them. I put it back in the package so nothing happens to it. I told you guys. <laughs> That's where I, I came up with my name of Vintage Digs because I dig. I'm digging for you guys. Trying to find all the cool stuff. Okay, Trisha. Trisha, do you want both or just one? Let me know. over here and then one please okay and then I have Kathy for the next one Kathy you want one as well honey hopefully I'm right thank you for telling me Thomas you know I'm having trouble reading chat so I appreciate you saying that 
Shut up, Thomas. Okay. <laughs> I can't be nice to Thomas. He thinks I'm mad at him. <laughs> oh, Linda, you're right. We dig you, Gina. Yvonne, are you talking about Gina? Of course I love you. <laughs> I love all you people. I don't think there's anybody in here that I don't like. Let me read the list real quick and I'll let you know. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something. <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> okay. So for my last item for tonight, I left the biggie. Hopefully you guys don't feel like you have to purchase, but I left it. For the last item tonight on purpose um it is cheaper than it is on ebay i'm going to tell you that right now but it's it's a little more costly than what i normally do so it is the napco set the elf boot pitcher with the four cups The little elf boot cups. These are Napco. Made in Japan. That's so cool. On this one, it doesn't say Napco. It's actually spelled out National Potteries Company. Oh, that's made cool. in Japan. On the left. You can't see because it's silver. So I it's going to show up. I don't think I've ever seen that. I always see Napco. See, like on here, it says Napco wear. Wow. But on the cups, it says National Pottery. Potteries Company. Major. You definitely don't see that very often. I, I think I've maybe seen it one other time. But there's four of these little cups. And you see there's three more back here. I'm not going to pull them all out here. for. But there's no chips. There's no cracks. They're all in good condition. I have looked these up. And there was a set that the picture looked like it had been through the war. I mean... None of this was even red anymore. It was like splotchy looking. So this one's really in good condition. But for all five pieces, oh, picture's about this big. For all five, I want to make sure you know everything. On this side, there is a little bit of wear. Where is it? Right there and right there. It is not chipped. It's missing a little bit of its color in those two places. And honestly, the way they brushed that paint on, it was so thin on that part. But like I said, I want to make sure you know. So that for the entire set of five things, it's going to be 40 bucks, number three. I'm not going to tell you, go look it up on eBay. You guys are smart enough to do that on your own. <laughs> I don't have to tell you that. Krista. All right. Krista, you got a great deal on that. I think you know that. She just saved about 30 bucks buying it for me. So. That was all my items. Well, I've got more items, but we're going to have to just do another Christmas sale because I... <laughs> now the music box is trying to go off. <laughs> I thought it was... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody saved me. Um, I think some of this Christmas stuff is haunted. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> Book, what's wrong? What do we need to talk about? Offer it up. I know. I just don't like doing offer ups. I just want to like put a number out there. I probably could have gotten more about offering up. I just, I just don't care for doing that. It's I'll find more of this stuff. Plus I have more of this stuff. Gina, do you want to show your deer? I can show Tammy. The, I can show you my deers. I've got, I pulled, I didn't go through the mall guys, but I did pull a few vintage Christmas cards. If, if y'all want to see them. Oh, they're so cute. There's, there's two different ones and their heads do move. 
Now this is the only one that still got his bell. The rest of them have lost their bells. There's that one and there's the one that doesn't have the red hue to it. It's just the regular deer. So see, they're very similar except this one's got the red on it and this one doesn't. Yeah, that's the deer I'm showing, the ones above my shoulder. I can sell these tonight if you want me to. These are not cheap, just so you know. <laughs> you should do it, Gina. I have, I don't even know how many I have up here. Let me see how many I have. I have a brown ones. I have one, two three three of the regular brown and then four of the one that's got the red hue to it got four of these and then three of these okay i was gonna sell these as individuals because these are not cheap guys if you research, if you do research these on eBay, these are going for over $20 a piece for one. So if you want to do an offer on one, or do you want to do an offer for like all three of these and then all four of the other ones? The red one has the bell around his neck. He's the only one that's got the bell. So, like I said, if you guys, you want to do individuals? Okay. Yeah, they're all marked Japan. You can't see it because it's in the plastic, or in the, these are like rubberized kind of. It's like written right there. You can't see it. $1,000. <laughs> okay. I'll do it one at a time, I guess. Um, all right, guys. Instead of doing offer, because when you do an offer, then everybody bids it up and everybody has to pay the high price, blah, 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 right? Do you want me just to give you a price per? Because I can do that. Or I can do offer, whatever you want to do. I keep watching the chat because I just want to know what you guys want to do. Gina, just how, let me know. How many are there total? Seven. I've just seeing how many people are interested. So you want me to just do a price? price each okay that's what everybody votes for I can do that all right let me see so I have three reds and three browns and then the red with the bell so I'm gonna do the red with the bell separately because that's not kind of you know I want everybody to get a chance so on the brown ones these are gonna be the first three people that put deer gets one for 15 bucks each. And you don't have to spell deer correctly. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Krista's got deer. I've got two more. If you want one, you better speak up. And then Trisha and Yvonne. Okay, so that's the brown ones, guys. Let me write that down because, you know, I'm dumb. So, <laughs> where's my pen at? Okay, dear. So, who did I have? Krista, Trisha, and Yvonne. Okay. The red deer. I got three of those that don't have the bell. Type in red for $15. 
All right, let's see who got that. Trisha, Tammy, and Krista. All right, then. Did everybody get one that wanted one except, let's see who didn't get one. Belinda didn't get one that wanted one. Kathy didn't. Okay, get ready. You ready? The word, <laughs> the word is going to be bell, just bell, and it's going to be more than the other ones. You ready? Get ready to type. It's going to be $20, bell. Trisha's got some internet going tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's all of those. All right, guys. And I'm trying to think. Um, I've got one more like vent really vintage ornament here. If you guys want me to do it, I'll go ahead and do it. And the rest of them are like from the 70s and 80s. I can do next time. But this is definitely one of those Japan, like, 1950s ornaments. If you want me to show it, let me know. Okay, so this one is going to be $12, just so you know, going in. I hadn't even looked this one up, so you could be getting a great deal, and I don't even know it. It's this little sleigh. It's got a little deer and a little angel. And a little Christmas tree. So just put in 12 if you want it. Because it's 12 bucks for this one. And I'm going to put it back in its little packaging here so I don't do anything to it. <laughs> Trisha wants that one too. Trisha's on top of it tonight. Congrats, Trisha. Yes, you got some good vintage stuff tonight, girl. And congratulations to everybody that did get to purchase. I'm glad you got. <laughs> Angel wasn't even here for the deer. <laughs> no. I will look for some more deer, uh, guys. You know, I'm going to go digging again. I'll look for some more deer before Christmas time because we'll do another Christmas sale. You know what I mean? So just so you know. And I'll try to find you some more. Thank you, Lynn Matt. Okay. Oh, thank you. So, you guys are going to have some amazing vintage Christmas this year. Oh, I've been on. Tammy's happy. I'm glad. I'm very glad. Hold on. I got to pick something up really quick. Does anyone want to see these uh, cards? Because otherwise I can just um, send Tammy a message. Yeah, she's got some vintage cards, guys. Yeah. I, I know that Tammy... Okay, so what I'm doing, I have um, a pair of two that are $2, and then I have two that are $2, depending on, you know, how old they are and how fancy they are. Hey, Daniel. Daniel? I'm sorry, Mr. Jewelry Sale this morning, Daniel. I was at the vet. Okay, so these are going to be two for $2. 
Most of these are from the 50s. They're not blank. They are written in. I know a lot of you like to um, jump in and decorate with old Christmas cards as well. So these will be, in other words, these will be a dollar a piece. I was trying to make it easy on myself. Um, so it's going to be $2, number 100, if anyone wants these. And I do have some more. I just haven't had time to go through them today. Okay. Then I have two more that are going to be a dollar a piece. This real pretty green one. Belinda, I've got you. Thank you so much. And then this one. So these be a pair for two dollars. Um, this one you can tell it's aged by the, the font here. I just I love things like this. I love a finger. So. And so these will be a dollar each. So two dollars number one I want if you're interested in those two. Danielle, I hope your sale went well. Okay, and then the, the kitschy ones are going to be $2 each. So I have, oh, this one is awesome, guys. Look at that. Look at that kitsch. And this one says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year inside. Thank you, Belinda. I see you for the other set too. Look at just look at that graphic. And then the last one, Tammy, is, is the one you were talking about. And guys, I'm just going to let Tammy purchase this one for two dollars. Because she specifically wanted this for Miss Linda. But look at how cute this is, y'all. I have more. I just need to go through them. That's cute. Well, hey, David. That is very, very cute. Isn't that cool? Thank you, Belinda. Well, I had so much fun. Me too. It was like different. It was, I don't know. It's the spirit of Christmas, I guess. That was a lot of fun. Definitely. And I've got enough stuff left to do. At least one more sale. And that's without me finding anything else. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a whole... Uh, button basket over here full of ornaments um lynn we have another sale tomorrow night if you're a, a late night person uh 10 30 eastern oh and it's on my channel yeah it's on cat's channel so make sure you go to calypso antiques cat for that Thank one you, Nikki. you guys are amazing Oh, you're a late night person. Great. Because that's oh. our late night sale tomorrow. Tomorrow will just be regular vintage items. And craziness. Oh. And our regular craziness. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. I love you guys. It's just been a bad day. But I was distracted. I have been tonight. So I'm so glad. I Book says they're thinking of Dex. Yes, we're all thinking of poor little Dexter. Yes. Thank you, Thomas and Sue. I hope Sue's feeling okay. I do too. She was in here for a minute, but I don't know. I will, Belinda. No worries, Blackie. I'm sorry. I forgot your name again. I need to write it down. I know that you're in Singapore and you're from Scotland, but I forgot you're from Singapore. <laughs> Love to you too, Linda. Well, thank all of you that are regulars that came in tonight to support us and all of our new 
newcomers that have not been with us before. We really enjoyed having you. And I hope you enjoyed the sale. I had a good time. I did too. Oh, book, you weren't here. Um, he's been vomiting and his liver count is very high. His glucose is low. They're just treating his symptoms right now until they know what's going on. Trisha, your cell's at four, right? I think that's right. Isn't it four o'clock your cell is? Oh, I'm so glad you came in. All of you people that haven't been here before, thank you so much for stopping by. And of course, all of our regulars, you know, we love you guys. And we're so glad you came and joined us. Daniel, it's my my baby Dexter. I'm sure you've seen him before. And Jen, we are going to go thrifting. I'll come up to Denton. Trisha sale is tomorrow, right? At four, right? Trisha, four o'clock. And then a special Thursday afternoon sale. Oh, okay, good. And then we have a late night sale at 1030 tomorrow, somewhere around there, on Cat's channel. Or hey, Cat's Dan. channel. <laughs> I always do it backwards. Cat's channel. So I'll never do it. <laughs> it's like you go the opposite of whatever you think it's gonna be, then you'll mm -hmm. be right. It's kind of like when you're backing up a boat trailer. You just go the opposite of what you think you should, <laughs> and it'll go the right direction. Mm -hmm. Oh, love you too, book. And yes, everyone check out Trisha tomorrow. And I don't, today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, all day. <laughs> Daniel sales are Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, David, I'm in Florida. Mm -hmm. She's in Texas. Um, we just love each other. Yeah, we just love each other. <laughs> That's okay, Daniel. It's okay you came on at the end. Yeah. Good night, Mary. Thank I'm you. I'm just glad you came. Oh, Mary. I'm sorry. I haven't spoke to you. I didn't even know you were in here. I'm horrible with this chat, guys, when I'm trying to sell. And I think <clears throat> I do better with it when I'm not hosting the sale. Like when Kat's hosting the sale, I can watch the chat better. When yeah. I'm doing it, I'm like paying attention to 15 things that are going on. So I'm horrible about it. Mm-hmm. And Fiona, I will never forget your name again. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, if you guys want to drop your links now, you can. Yeah. Those and of you David, that can. David, you need to do it too. David has been finding some amazing things. Not just from his normal estate sales, but like going to Goodwill and stuff. Mm -hmm. Amazing. We do, Linda. So Britt is home now, I think. But she posted the coolest video of her cousin's wedding. It's amazing. I yeah. wanted to get married just to have a party like that. I know. I was like, can I just get it annulled right after? I just want to have the party. David, that was an amazing looking party. <laughs> I know. David, I want to go shopping with you. He's found uh, swung bases at Goodwill. I mean, that, that wouldn't happen here. <laughs> yeah, I I don't find any of that stuff. Like, I was watching a video a little while ago, and this guy, like, goes to a garage sale, and he literally finds one of those. Oh, you're in here, so you'll know. One of those bittersweet, um, the bittersweet swung vases, like David had posted that his friend had all those on the mantle and around the fireplace and everything. He found one of those at a garage sale for one dollar. I was like, I never find anything like that. Mm -hmm. And he like picks it up and he goes, Oh, this is eighty dollars online. Da, 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 da. And I'm sitting there going, <laughs> if I found it, it'd be like twenty, thirty dollars. <laughs> oh yeah. I only see them at um antique malls here and they're priced, you know, for collectors, not yeah, I love looking at them and touching them. Now. Yeah, I do too. Mm -hmm. I, I do that a lot. <laughs> it's like touch, touch, touch. I went to a store the other day. Like, a, I guess it was kind of like a Dr. David antique store, whatever. They had a sign that do not touch the dishes. I was like, if I can't touch it, I'm not going to be in here. <laughs> no. I was like, I want to touch. <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm out of here. 
Oh, Trish is going to have um, a fairy lamp tomorrow. I haven't. I haven't uh, watched a couple days, guys. I think the last thing I watched was Daniel Sale Sunday morning, and I only caught the end of it. Cass got some pretty hot fairy lamps too, and waiting in the wings. Yeah, I found a couple. Well, I found five last week, which is just unbelievable. Yeah, yeah there's, uh, there's I, definitely I, some of them that I'm just like, mm, maybe I should go ahead and put my order in now so she doesn't have a chance to sell it. <laughs> I don't know if I have, David. Gina, have you ever heard of Raynor Batosi Lundi? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the, um, is that the vase thing that you found? Is that what you're talking about? I think so. Yeah, I need to find some of that. <laughs> That's awesome, Jen. Very cool. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's your best find you've had this week? Everybody tell me your best find you've had this Ooh, week. Oh, I have mine to show y'all. I can find my black light. Let's check. Mine's a glower. I know. I love that one. Oops. I don't know if it's coming through, but. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. It's that's first, so pretty. It's the first glowing one I found. For sure. Your sanity. Yeah, Daniel. <laughs> oh, did you finally find that? <laughs> <laughs> Was it at a discount? <laughs> you don't talk too much, David. What are you talking about? Oh, no. You need to talk more. Mm -hmm. We like talking. I'm putting everything over here so nothing happens to it until I can get it packaged up. Um, Mary, he doesn't have parvo. Um, he's current on all of his vaccinations. So they just don't. Basically, they're treating his symptoms. They don't know what's wrong, and they want to see if he'll start eating on his own. We're all chipped and cracked, Daniel. <laughs> well, good, Daniel. Let me know where you found it so I can find mine. Maybe <laughs> mine is sitting right next to yours on the shelf, and we just didn't know. Did you yeah. pick mine up too? <laughs> <laughs> Just send it to me. It's first class is fine. What? His best find was in his storage? Wow. Yeah, that vase. Oh, oh, okay. I'm I'm half asleep. Yeah, the was it Polish? Yeah, the Polish vase that he found in his storage. That's amazing. Linda, I'm glad you like your card. Was that this week you found that? I know it sold this week. Daniel, how much did it cost? <laughs> <laughs> he had a coupon. <laughs> um, Tammy, they don't know. I mean, I asked them that. Like, and the vet was like, I don't know what, what's in your house. And we have four dogs and three cats so we don't leave anything toxic out so i don't know he was horrible. doing so much better as right i don't know horrible he was crying i don't want to make y'all sad but rick and i were up all night worrying just a little info for you guys that may not know if you have an aldi's close to you the grocery store, whatever, all these. They have the fairy lamps on sale right now. The little lights to go in the lamps. Mm -hmm. For like $2 and something. Are they so think, You can get the clear ones. They're LED. You can get the clear or the colored. I got one of each. Oh, that's cool. See, there's the, you can't really tell it's colored, but they're colored. I'll have to go by there. So if you haven't all these, go pick some up while you can. Before they, you know how that stuff gets sold out immediately at all these. 
So make sure you go get some if you need some while they got them at that price. Cool, Gina. Thank you. Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> Are you going to have an Aldi? Oh, I hope you get one soon. Yeah, we have a bunch. We yeah, they are battery. But, you know, you just don't leave them on all the time. They're just double A's. David, that is so cool. Tell Alan hi, by the way. Wait, don't you have a... I know you had your sale today, but don't you have one tomorrow, too, or am I confused? I feel free to share anything. Anyone. <laughs> See, Linda even told you to shut up, Thomas. <laughs> it's a thing now. Everybody's going to tell you to shut up. Trisha, do you want me to look for some for you? Thank yeah, you. If you want me. some, I can get you some and just throw them in your box to go along with your stuff. Thank you, Thomas. Okay, cool, David. I'll try to. I'll try to go on. All right, guys. I better hit the bed it's already 10 30 nearly and i've got woo, stuff to do in the morning i got packages to start on and all that good stuff so 6 p.m okay live hall friday at nine for daniel cool daniel vintage bulldog for david okay okay that's awesome david very cool Bless animals. Okay, awesome. All right, guys. I love all of you. I'm so glad you came. Merry Christmas in July <laughs> to all you ho ho hos. And I hope you have a great night. I don't think so, David. Are you up to four thousand hours, Gina? I'm sorry, what? Are you up to four thousand hours? Oh, I, he's probably talking to Daniel. Good night, Belinda. Good night, Thomas. Good night, Belinda. Good night, Thomas. Good Linda. night, Linda. Good I night, David. Thank Good you. night, Lynn. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. Tammy, Renee, thank you. Good night. Trisha, good night. Everybody that's still here, Daniel, good night. <laughs> good night, Tomboy. <laughs> anyway. John Boy. John Boy, excuse me. It's been a while. Good night, Trisha. Good night. Good night. Good night. Um, um, not me. I'm having a hard time just getting subs. I have a lot of followers on Instagram, but not on YouTube. It's so weird. <laughs> Book says, ho, ho, I'm proud of it. That's right. <laughs> Book's my ho, ho, ho. Good night, Fiona. Good night, Black, uh, Blackie Jr. Oh, God, what's... Like with Black Jr. Fiona. Fiona, thank you. Very Scottish name, so. I know, it is Fiona. Mm -hmm. Love you, book. Did you call us hoes? That's all right, we are hoes. The hoes of recent. <laughs> 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 we put the ho, ho, ho in your resale. <laughs> Well, David, I'll help you however I can. I'll, I'll shout you out tomorrow during our sale. Oh, yeah. I got to go get some coffee right now, Linda. Right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get coffee to go to sleep. That's what I do. <laughs> Weird. It, like, comforts me or something. All right. I'm going to cut out. Book, I will. Bye, guys. All right. Don't forget, we've got something special coming up planned for you guys, too. But I'm not going to tell you what, so. <laughs> you just have to wait. We have a couple of things coming. One we've already alluded to. Yeah. That's kind of has something to do with what we did tonight as well, in a weird kind of way. Mm-hmm. Then we have something else coming up that you guys know nothing about. And I'm going to keep it that way. So <laughs> you just have to be surprised. Yes, exactly, Linda. Stay tuned. 
stay tuned. Same bat time, same bat channel. <laughs> same cat time, same cat channel. Oh, there you go. I like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. How, is how we roll. That's right. <laughs> you know it. Okay. Let's cut out. Y'all go to bed. Quit goofing around. Go to bed. You know it's past your bedtimes. <laughs> Don't forget to watch Jane. She'll, oh my gosh. We do we go oh, into bed? Yeah. Oh, we, my gosh. we don't ever want to do that. Oh, Jane's on right now. Oh, I don't know. I didn't get a notification. I didn't either. Maybe she's not on yet. I thought she okay. was on at nine, but I don't know. Go watch Jay. Everybody transfer right on over there to her if she's on. Doggone happy vintage if you don't know. And tell her we sent you. Mm -hmm. And we told you you had to come over there whether you wanted to or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you don't go to Jane's cell, I'm not going to send you your vintage Christmas ornaments. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta at least go in and say hello. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take <laughs> I'm gonna take roll. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna be like book here, Trisha here. <laughs> if you aren't there, you're not getting your stuff. So you might as well just go on in there and say hello. You ain't gotta stay, but you gotta say hello. All right. Love you guys, and I will see you probably in a few minutes in her cell if she comes on. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody. Merry Christmas. Good night. Oh, hold on. I got to hit this weird button up here that I don't even know where it is on this thing. Yeah, this there is it is. It's, it's different. Takes a while.